Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system. We have x equals z to the power 1 over z minus 1 and y equals z to the power z over z minus 1. And we're going to find the value of y to the power 1 over y in terms of x. Now, I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the second one. Now, for the second method, I'm going to use direct substitution. So, this is what I'm trying to find, and I do have a value for y. So, why not replace y with that? And 1 over y is going to become the reciprocal. So, we can basically write the same thing with a negative exponent. Remember the rule, 1 over a to the power n can be written as a to the power negative n. So, you just have to negate the exponent to get the reciprocal. All right? So let's go ahead and plug these in. y is z to the power z over z minus 1. And 1 over y is z to the power negative z over z minus 1. Great. So we have an exponential and then we're raising it to another power. So that means we're supposed to multiply the exponents, right? So that's going to become like this. We're going to have z to the power z over z minus 1 as the inner exponent times z to the power negative z over z minus 1 as the second exponent. Make sense? Now notice that we have a power of z here and a power of z here. So this is a power of z, that is a power of c. So we can go ahead and multiply them and then just uh, divide by the common um, denominator or the same denominator, right? But how do you multiply them? Well, this is like z to the power 1, and this is z to the power negative z over z minus 1. To multiply them, we're just going to add their exponents. So it's going to look like this. This is going to be z to the power, z to the power 1 minus z over z minus 1, because that's the second exponent, right? Divided by z minus 1. So that's going to be our new exponent, right? Uh, I know that looks a little complicated, but that's basically what it is. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to separate this a little bit, but first thing I want to do is simplify this. I want to simplify the following. So I, let's go ahead and simplify this part. What is 1 minus z over z minus 1? Let's go ahead and simplify that right here first. So that's going to become, if you make a common denominator, it's going to be z minus 1 minus z over z minus 1. z cancels out and we end up with negative 1 over z minus 1. Great. So this is what we have right now. z to the power... Let's not forget what we have, right? z to the power negative 1 over z minus 1 divided by z minus 1, right? Okay, so that's what we have now because this is the exponent and we simplified it, right? And that's what we have. Great, now, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to do the following and always refer, to, refer back to what x was because you're going to write this in terms of x, right? This expression in terms of x. And x is z to the power 1 over z minus 1. Does that ring a bell? Here, z to the power 1 over z minus 1 can be kept inside. And then we can put this outside on the outside, which is z to the power negative 1 over z minus 1. Awesome. Now, if you look at the inside... That is x, isn't it? Remember, we were trying to write this for x, and x is equal to exactly that. So this is x, so we can write it as x. But what about the exponent? Well, it's the same thing, but the only difference is uh, the numerator is negative, right? Negative 1 over something. Well, it's just a reciprocal, so this is 1 over x. So let me quickly explain. And this is, by the way, y to the power 1 over y. That's what we started with. And it turns out to be x to the power 1 over x. Let me go quickly explain how I got that. So we took this expression, z to the power negative 1 over z minus 1, and write it as 1 over z to the power 1 over z minus 1. Because remember, when you take the reciprocal, you negate the exponent. And that's exactly that. And this is equal to y, remember? Right? I mean x, okay, that is equal to x, so this just becomes 1 over x, which is their exponent right here. Make sense? Hopefully it does. And we get the answer in terms of x, which is x to the power 1 over x. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the first method. So we were trying to find the answer in terms of x, and we did. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the first method, which should be a cooler method in my opinion. Anyways... 
One more time, the problem is x equals z to the power 1 over z minus 1, and y equals z to the power z over z minus 1. And we're trying to find y to the power 1 over y in terms of x. I know the thumbnail didn't specify that, but hopefully you got the idea when you saw the problem. Okay, now first method, I mean the first one that I did, which was the second method, involved direct substitution. This one is going to be a little different. We're going to manipulate these expressions. How? So take a look at this first. When you see, look at the x and the y, what is the difference? What do they have in common? What do they have differently? Well, first of all, they both have the same base. And if you look at their exponents, the denominators are the same. The only difference is the numerators. So in other words, z over z minus 1 is one of the exponents, and 1 over z minus 1 is the other one. So we can write this as z times 1 over z minus 1, and that's actually going to help us. Now, here's what I'm talking about. y equals z to the power z over z minus 1, which can be written as z to the power 1 over z minus 1 to the power z. Because when you raise it to another power, you're basically going to multiply the powers or exponents, right? But this is y, right? This is y. It's not a question. And this part is x. This is x, right? Isn't it? Look at that. That's x. This is y. And this is x. So we got the following. y equals x to the power z. Maybe you already knew that, right? That's not new to you. But that's one equation. I do need another equation. And that's going to be uh, coming from a very interesting way of manipulating these two things. So let me rewrite them x equals z to the power, oopsies, x equals z to the power 1 over z minus 1, and y equals z to the power z over z minus 1. So we already got that. We're going to find another equation. Take a look at this. I can write the y as z to the power z over z minus 1, and then that could be turned into z to the power z minus 1 plus 1 over z minus 1. So I kind of manipulate, add, and subtract 1. But now this becomes 1, so I can write it as z to the power 1 plus 1 over z minus 1, and I can separate them because the exponents are being added, so that means multiplication, and I can kind of write it like this. But that comes from y, and this is z, and guess what? This is x. Awesome. So now we got another equation, y equals zx, in addition to y equals x to the power z. All right. We could also obtain the second result by doing the following, even though it may not be very obvious. We could divide y by x, and y is z to the power z over z minus 1, and x is z to the power 1 over z minus 1. When you divide, you subtract the exponents, and when you do, you get z minus 1 over z minus 1, which is 1, therefore this gives you z. So y over x is z, which means y equals zx. Make sense? Hopefully it does. Now let's proceed with these two equations. Now I got two nice equations. What can I do with them? Well, our goal is to write y to the power 1 over y in terms of x. So we need to get rid of z. That actually gives you a good idea to isolate z. So let's go ahead and isolate z from the first equation. z can be written as y over x. And then y equals x to the z. We can now replace z with... Okay y over x, right? And this gives us y equals x to the power y over x. And if you raise both sides to the power x, you get y to the power x equals x to the power y, which is another interesting way to write this relationship, but that's not what I need. I do want y to the power 1 over y, so let's go ahead and um, keep it that way. I don't want that, so erase. I don't need that, and let's proceed from here. Whether we raise both sides to the power 1 over y, because that's what we need, and when we do, the exponents will be multiplied. y to the power 1 over y is equal to x to the power y over x times 1 over y. y is going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with y to the power 1 over y equals x to the power 1 over x. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.